Hey guys, I'm Gary from Gary Plays Games here on YouTube, and today we are back on Potter and Philosopher's Stone. And you'll see that I'm at the main menu. That is because um, today, well, you know, I had a few problems the other day, and I couldn't save it because I didn't have enough disk space. Remember last episode? It went really laggy. Well, it did. About 30 gig, and I couldn't save it. So. We have, like, advanced a bit into the story. Well, not really. All you have to do is walk through the entrance hall, up the stairs, and Ron takes you to the bathroom, the girls' bathroom. So, and the cutscene starts as soon as I load the game, so that's why I've already loaded the game. So, we're going to go to the troll. Because, remember, he said it was Halloween. And, yeah, it's the whole troll bit, if you've seen the movie. So, yeah, let's go. What's that smell? Oh. This way, Harry! Okay, okay, so yeah, just pretty much follow the trail. I used to have great difficulty doing this. I don't know whether I'm going to do it. You know, it's quite easy to do it. Well, but I used to have tremendous Where the gap, like the shortest gap, is going to be. Beans. Look, it's the same game. Isn't it? <laughs> it's only just realised mine is in there. The troll is enormous. Harry, I'll try to charm the troll's trap so it bashes him in the head. Wingardium Leviosa! Oh, I wasn't paying attention, I was uh, happy about that. Because I can't do long things he's trying to throw at you and break them which means it doesn't hit you or wrong which doesn't distract wrong so wrong can do it Guardian, see, So I think the way to do it is to keep close to Ron, so if it goes for you or Ron, you can do it. There we go, it's working now. I couldn't aim at the ones that were going for Ron, but you know, we can do it now. And Ron's getting pretty close. Go on, Ron! You can do it! Pretty easy, it's on the right place. Um, oh, there's the bar, Ron. There we go. Amani, are you alright? Thanks for saving me. Is he dead? I think he's just been knocked out. Come on, let's get out of here. So it's Exhausted another from that encounter with a troll. Harry, Ron, and Hermione return to the Gryffindor common room 
and discussed the strange goings on at Hogwarts. Harry suspected that someone had released the troll to distract everyone so that they could get into the Forbidden Corridor. But there wasn't much time to think about who was behind this, especially since Harry was busy preparing for the second Quidditch match against Ravenclaw. Welcome to Quidditch! Welcome to Quidditch! I just I'm your commentator, Lee Jordan! Oh yeah. It's Gryffindor versus we Ravenclaw! We are playing Stupid Quidditch Let's again. Let's Quidditch! No, that this is left to Harry Potter. Get it right, would you? Here comes the Ravenclaw Seeker! And saves! Oh, he'll feel the tomorrow! So yeah, we're just flying about. I think he's killing the cheek for it, but... Nice block! Get his way with Fred or George Weasley! Weasley can't tell which! Tell which! That's gotta hurt! Gotta hurt! Now, Lee Jordan's Raven gone a bit in this game. But yeah, I don't know why. My Gryffindor! Oh, that was close! Here comes the Gryffindor Seeker! Here comes the Bludger! Dodge is a speeding Bludger! Stay with it, Harry! Skill. He's getting closer. Harry Potter carries in on the snitch. Come on, Gryffindor. Oh, uh, sir, uh, sir. and me and Mr. Potter. Potter's moving in. This is amazing, mate. Potter is so close! Stay on target, stay on... Look at those signals go! The crowd is on its feet! Come on, Potter! Amazing space! Keep it guys! And misses! Here's up the plunger! Oof. Come on, Gryffindor! Oh, oh, uh, sorry, Professor. Roger! Snitch, Nick. I'm sorry about the glitchiness of Lee Jordan in this episode. I didn't know it was going to be glitchy, there's nothing else to do. But yeah, um... I've never seen such flying! Potter's gaining! Oh, lad. He's getting closer. Oh, that was close. Come on, Potter. Don't give up now. That must have hurt. Must. Keep it dies, die and saves. Uh. Bond is moving in. He turns. He misses. Come on, Harry. Um, sorry, Potter. Here comes the blood. Here the Stay on target. Potter is so Yay. close! So, yeah. There we go, we have four percent. Oh, we've done. won the game Griffith again. Somehow, again. I don't know how, but we won it again. And Lee Jordan, Jordan signing off! Thanks, Lee Jordan, Thanks please go away now. Thanks, Lee Jordan, Gryffindor won the Quidditch match against Ravenclaw. 
Harry, Ron and Hermione spent most of their free time in Hagrid's hut, trying to convince him that he couldn't keep Norbert his beloved dragon. Eventually, Sorry, after much coaxing, Hagrid agreed. Harry unwrapped the unexpected Christmas present. Something fluid and silvery slithered out. It's an invisibility cloak, said Ron. They're very rare. There was a note with the cloak. Your father left this in my possession, Harry read. Use it well. A very Merry Christmas to you. Harry tried on the cloak, while Ron and Hermione helped him prepare for the climb up the tower. Be careful, Harry, said Hermione. You can't stay invisible while you cast spells. Filch might see you. So yeah, it's the sneaking With Norbert bit. safely bundled up, Harry set off for the tallest tower. He hoped that the cloak would conceal him from Filch and his cat, Mrs. Norris. Now, I do actually suck at this bit, but I have done it before. What's <laughs> that? So yeah, um, just my advice to you is don't walk into Filch. Well, He's already well, found me. Well, but yeah, we are in trouble now, aren't we? With Norbert safely bundled up, Harry set off for the tallest tower. He hoped that the cloak would conceal him from Filch and his cat. Mrs. Norris. What's that? this door as well. You basically just sneak through this entire thing. No one gets past Argus Filch and makes a fool of him. And I have been caught With Norbert again. safely bundled up, Harry set off for the tallest tower. He hoped that the cloak would conceal him from Filch and his cat, Mrs. Norris. He doesn't realize how much of an idiot he actually sounds, but yeah. Um, wait for him to go one way and you go the other. And then he follows you. And then you just run. <laughs> when all else fails, just run. If the worst comes to the worst, he'll stop you. If he doesn't, well, good, he didn't stop you. Good. So, yeah. Um, this is the very start of the first time I keep failing, but, you know, you guys are better at these games than me. I'm just a failure. We all know that. So just take on the chin and just try it. Um, if you're just watching this let's play for entertainment purposes, then cool, but this bit is actually probably pretty easy, I just fail at sneaking. Come out, come out wherever you are. No, I'm okay. So he's just going to stand here. And when I do, you'll regret it. 
No hold. Wow. Oh. So yeah, just run. This is a safe game for there. That is so so helpful when you're doing this bit. It's a safe game. We always love safe games when you're doing this bit because you know it's just annoying. It's not hard. It's just annoying. I love how he whispers the spell, even though we can like see him. Uh. Intruder! Intruder! In the forbidden corridor! <laughs> Intruder! I'm not down there, you idiot. Uh. Yeah, this... this... Uh, <laughs> this bit is annoying. <laughs> What's that? Hmm. Come out, come out, wherever you are. So then you wait for him to go. There he goes. Then you run down here. Uh. Which opens that up there. Now, how can I get up there? I've already been up there, you know, because I'm not much of a legend. Yeah, just jump up there, and then you can jump to the other bookcases, and then it lags when you're jumping like that, which is so so annoying. Then you jump up there, and guys, I'm gonna have to end this episode here. If you did enjoy this episode. Actually, I'm not sure. I might Let me just minimize that, but you know. Hopefully, you didn't see my desktop then, but you know, you did. Oh well. Um, so, yeah. Now this bit, he stands come in front out, of you. Come out wherever you are. Now you just wait and he will walk away. Just don't walk into him. I know it seems tempting to try and sneak out of that room while he's there. But just, you know, wait. Be patient. Now I'm running over here to get away from him. Go in here. Depend of that switch. Which opens that. <laughs> oh, this bit is bit so complicated. Intruder! Intruder! In the forbidden <sighs> corridor! I wish you were But yeah. So just jump down there. Wait for him to walk a bit. Because otherwise he hears you. And uh. then just climb down here. In there, hit that thunder switch, which opens the gargoyle. This bit so complicated, it's unbelievable. So, yeah, now we've got to sneak all the way back up there. Like this, just follow what I'm doing. Um, So glad he didn't fall then. Um, then you hit this gargoyle with new mark. Which gives you a path upwards in that room. So 
so yes, we have to sneak back down here. Ugh. Now, Filch is really awkward at this point. Although he never goes in that end room, so you know what's in there. You seem pretty safe. Yeah, just jump up these. And at the top you'll be greeted by some beans. Jump down. Now my phone's going off. Then you hit that kind of thing, which opens that. And closes that. So you're now safe from Phil, which you walk through there-ish, I'm not sure. I'm confused now. But yeah, you've hit that propender thing. Then you hit this new master. It's so complicated. Um, and then he put some more things up. Somewhat. got to get over there now so so now you have to get up here there's no sign of filch at this point but you know he could jump out of anywhere he's an idiot so you know all idiots come out of places you don't like them to but yeah so just jump over here jump on the room acting like a ninja and jump up there. Luckily he grabbed on. Then you've got to do another jump to this one in the middle and then a jump to that last one by there. Do that loom last thing. Gargoyle, as they like to call them these days. Put some more up. To get somewhere. I'm lost now, but yeah, up to the okay. So you then jump to that oh. one, so the one underneath it, and you can jump in here. Oh. Now you can jump all the way up here, all that oh. type of stuff, and there is a Alhamor thing. And in here is a safe game. So I am going to end this episode here. If you did enjoy this episode, please, 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 please click like and add to favorites. And if you like the walkthrough, click one of the annotations somewhere on the screen now to go to the where you can see all of the videos. I also add all of them to the playlist. So if you like, if you like, don't have a YouTube account, don't want to subscribe, you can add the playlist to the to your bookmarks in your browser or your favorites if you're using it to explore um, and you can see all my videos all my Harry Potter videos every time you click it it'll show a list of all my videos and you can see the links one at the bottom so yeah uh, also yeah you could subscribe that's another thing just click the subscribe button like and add to favorites it's also absolutely amazing so just spam buttons is helpful also commenting watching the video are all really helpful things to do guys so really appreciate you clicking all the buttons you possibly can 